supposed to be at the gym right now. I even wrote it on my hand. We can't really see it anymore. It says gym, do it. I'm probably not gonna go to the gym today. I'm gonna work out a bit this morning, but I'm gonna skip yet another day. I skipped, this is the fourth gym session that I'm skipping in the last two weeks. The last week I am forgiven because Danielle was here, so I spent all my time with her. But last Monday and today, I have no excuse. Last Monday, I actually slept through all of my alarms, which was the first time I've ever done that. Um, I woke up like at 8 and I looked at my phone like, my alarm didn't ring! And it was like still ringing but in silent and I was like, ah! And today, I don't know, I just have so much I want to do today that I'm getting an early start and I'm going to do like a small workout from home, like a tiny workout and I'm gonna get right to work. I actually already started. I had an idea for one of the articles I'm writing and I was like <sniffs> writing down some of the ideas. So now I'm gonna put on my gym gear, work out a bit, blow my nose because I've been sniffing like for the past five minutes and let's go. I thought of this segment while I was falling asleep last night and it sounded so much better in my head and I also looked way better. I didn't look like this tired and Ugh, puffy. Okay, let's go get ready. It's time to work out. So cuddly. So cuddly. But now I'm gonna work out. And you're gonna wanna cuddle and I'm gonna be moving. <laughs> Ooh, poof. Poof. Tickle, tickle, tickle. This is like the zone everyone wants to touch. <laughs> but it's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. Oh, he doesn't mind today. He doesn't mind. <laughs> I guess it depends on his mood. Wanna go work out? Got my face on. So the plan is if the lighting it's gonna is okay because it's still early morning the sun is rising so it's very bright in here at the moment the plan would be to take i want to take some photos of my eco tree shirt to publish online so hopefully by the time this vlog comes out i will have succeeded in making decent looking photos and the shirts will be out i hope i mean that's the whole point of this and also that i have a bunch of videos to film today so so yeah, that is the goal for now. It's super hot. I'm gonna open the windows wide open, put some music on, and try some test photos. Hi! <laughs> okay, this is not working. Uh, oh my god, this is so tight. Okay, okay I've just slid on the freaking floor. And now, of course, you're too high. Oh my god! Uh, how's this? Is this okay? Yeah, let's let's do it like that. So I just came back from doing some shopping. I'm um, currently uh, preparing to film the Patty 10th birthday um, video. So I went to the pet store. It's not a pet store. Pet store sell pets. I think they just sell fish and then a bunch of. Uh, Pet supply store, that's the word I'm looking for. So I went there and it's kind of far away and I passed through a lot of shops and uh, what else? I passed through a lot of areas and a bunch of shops so I had to get a few things on the way. And uh, I thought I'd show you. It's been a while since I've done a little shopping haul. <laughs> Not as that is interesting, but we are getting back into vlogging so... First of all, I got a Métis. Not sponsored, but they are giving out a few... They have been giving out quite a few samples at the moment, probably with the heat. Last time it was... Something like Purity? I don't remember, they all have the same name. This one is Métis, last time it was another one. It's nice and fresh. It's too sweet though. So, the last stop I did was at the just the normal supermarket where I got bananas 
yeah i know it's not the farmer's market but i wasn't passing by there anyway and i really needed some bananas because i cannot have my breakfast without bananas so these are still organic but they're slightly more expensive and they're from the supermarket and i bought myself a mango i think it's ready to eat it's, it is quite soft soft-ish it is still quite firm actually that's what i meant to say but I'm hoping I can eat it today as a treat because I am stuck in a sugar craving a vicious cycle where every day I'm craving something junky like a chocolate muffin or something and I keep buying one being like oh, it only cost a buck and then the next day I want another one so today's treat will be a mango and I'm hoping to break the cycle oh did it is it cloudy lighting change <laughs> Welcome back to my vlogs. If you haven't seen my really old vlogs, like pre-Japan vlogs, this is what usually happens. I ramble on for a very long time. And then I'm editing it and I'm like, what the hell? Okay, then I went to the like organic shop, I guess, the food shop, where everything is so expensive. But every time I'm there, like, I want to buy everything. So I bought some apple cider vinegar. I haven't smelt it yet. It smells different from the ones I'm used to. I hope it's good because I'm going to be drinking this. Also to help my sugar cravings. If you have, I think like a shot with some water or something, it's supposed to be really good for your digestive system. And I've been feeling very bloated and I'm having a lot of water retention at the moment. So I hope it will help with that. I bought some yeast, like uh, the powdered thing, because I need some protein and it's also rich in iron. I know I always need iron because I don't eat that much meat actually, I never really eat meat. This is an odd one, I usually don't buy chia because it is so freaking expensive for this like tiny pack but I need the omegas, I think, I hope I didn't... Uh, make a mistake, but I think there are omega 3s in there and I need them. Oh, and this was the impulse buy. Well, I actually wanted to buy it. It's um, almond cream and I love this on bananas. And I'm thinking I can put it inside uh, my porridge or my overnight oats to spread it on bananas when I'm having a craving. And I can also sprinkle some chia seeds on it because I used to have that as a snack, but this. <laughs> This thing, this darn thing, is so expensive. I wonder if it's, there's, there must be a better way. Like, can I, I wonder how you make this. Don't you have like to uh, s blend a bunch of almonds for a really long time at high speed to get a cream? I feel like it might even be cheaper to just buy a bunch of almonds, but I don't have the right machine anyway i'm blabbering on and it's already eight minutes of video jesus anyway this is super yummy i usually buy the white one but this one was one euro less expensive than the white one so i never tried this one but it's probably the same Ooh, it smells actually a little uh salty might be good it's probably going to be a little more interesting. And then the, the main thing was the pet store. You will have seen it in the Pachi video if it's already out. He's looking at me, but I don't, know, I don't know if you'll understand what it is. Probably maybe with the sound. This is the good quality pet food. Now for a, an extra treat, where is it? I got this one, which is wet food. And as I mentioned in the cat in the uh, birthday video, his stomach is very sensitive. He does not really digest these. There's a good chance that he's gonna throw it up. So I'm gonna give him a little bit, and he's probably gonna gobble it up and then wait for a little bit because yeah, there's a good chance he'll throw it up. But if he can enjoy it as a treat. I mean, why the hell not? And um, this one is tuna. And as a toy, I got him this. I'm probably gonna have to tear the feathers off though because I know that he might end up eating them and then throwing them back up like a furball. If you have seen the cat birthday celebration, this is just like repetitive for you with a lot more rambling. 
<laughs> oh, it's his catnip inside. He's gonna go mad for this. I did not see that it said catnip inside. Okay, well, this is a damn good treat. So that's all I got for him, and that's all I got when I was out. Um, I made a huge, huge mistake. I made a mistake while coming back because the whole area where all the shops are are like under construction. They're like everything is a mess, and I, I can never figure out where I can walk and where I can't walk. So obviously, I made the mistake of walking where I can't walk. Had a bunch of guys yelling after me like, "Hey, hey, hey!" I was like, "Huh." <laughs> I had a guy saying you have to go that way and another guy saying you have to go that way so I was just like um, I need to go there and then same again the guy, one guy said that way another guy said that way and after a while I just saw this guy behind me like just really like come this way come this way and I followed him and I arrived but I know it's stupid but I, feel, I hate feeling stupid like they were all staring at me with my little shorts and like the stupid like I'm blonde now, like stupid blonde girl who doesn't know how to follow directions and uh, whatever. I was like mad about it for like five minutes and I was telling myself, you'll forget about it in 10 minutes, you'll forget about it in 10 minutes. And I did. I was, yeah, kind of pissed off. And then at the supermarket when I got my mango and my bananas, uh, the guy at the till was really nice, like really friendly and uh, like really uh, taking the time to say hello and looking at me in, in my face and goodbye, have a nice day. And it, I really felt myself tearing up because he was so kind. What's wrong with me? I think my period is due anytime now. So I'm really emotional. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna film a part of the cat birthday video. See if Pachi is in a better mood. Maybe he'll be happy to receive some treats. I'm not sure though. I might wait a little bit. And then I'll take a break and eat my mango. I just gave Pachi his treats and he's just so suspicious of me. I think he's been feeling something going on. Like his toy is right there. He's got his wet food, his treats in there, and he's got a full bowl of dry food. But every time I approach him, he just runs away and he looks at me like, what are you gonna do to me? Are you gonna force me into some weird clothes? I gave up on that, the crown I made, like that thing. Completely gave up on that because it made him <laughs> really angry. He's just been in a weird mood. But we're celebrating your birthday! Uh, I think it's just too hot for him to be honest right now. It's super heavy. It's not the best weather. He's not been in a good mood all day. The apartment's a mess. <laughs> but he's not... He ate a bit of it, but not that much. Hmm. I was hoping for a bigger celebration, but... <laughs> what was I expecting? With a grumpy old... 10 year old cat <laughs> oh dear we can continue celebrating until you're in a better mood honey <laughs> so i bought a new eyeliner the other day which i tested out for the first time today and um let's review it right now cry test does not pass but in its defense it was a damn good cry. <laughs> oh my god, it wasn't just like, oh, I shed a tear. No, it was like, I feel like I'm gonna cry. Let's just let it out. And then five minutes later, I'm like, I can't stop crying. <laughs> ah! Yeah, pretty much. A big old cry. I don't know, maybe it was bottled up in, inside me for a while and it just needed to come out. I think I'm just like that type. That kind of person, you know, like a good old cry and then like back up, except a good old cry in my case just like takes everything out of me and now I'm just like, I want to go back to bed. But yeah, since I am vlogging, might as well document everything, right? <laughs> and why did I cry? Well, I don't freaking know. <laughs> I just fell down. And then I watched Taylor R's proposal video and that like, no, that was before that. I watched a movie, like part of a movie while I was having my lunch and I, all the, I was feeling really emotional. 
and then I took a nap because I was feeling really tired and then I woke up from the nap and then I watched Taylor R's proposal video and I bawled my eyes out and I couldn't stop I was out crying and crying and gasping and yeah, not good oh and it's cloudy now I wouldn't mind for it like just to rain for like maybe a little while because it's so heavy right now it's like you move you sweat it's not that it's not that nice i love summer and i love beautiful weather but right now it's just like oof, ugh. it's a little tiring uh this vlog is gonna be all over the place and just mainly me talking in front of the camera which was so this is the reason why i stopped vlogging because i mm, let's not get angry because i cannot deal with another wave of intensive emotion Right now, I just can't. And there was supposed to be a video due for tonight, but that's no. There's no way I'm gonna be finished with that. I started this morning. It took me two hours to edit like a 30 second clip because I'm artsy as f so. I was just like, I need it to be perfectly the way I want. And now it's like early afternoon. No, late afternoon, early evening, and I'm done <laughs> for today. So what I think I'm gonna do is squeeze another hour that's what i you do to trick myself into doing things squeeze another hour of work in there do like an easy part i think i have a sequence a talking sequence for this video that might be pretty straightforward for me to edit where i don't have to be like oh i want to be artsy yeah i'm gonna try and edit that for this hour and i think after that i'm just gonna do a spot of like cleaning around the house because my kitchen is a mess it's like fruit fly apocalypse and uh yeah maybe like take the trash outside because it's you go into the kitchen and it's like breathing breathing fruit flies that sounds disgusting that's pretty much what it is okay i'm rambling on it does, uh, and oh, oh good camera batteries flashing good give me a reason to stop now <laughs> let's go and uh, let's do an hour of editing Ken is down here with me. My neighbor, like literally here in Brussels, the neighbor, well, it's probably the same in a lot of countries, but the buildings are really close together. And my neighbor, right in front of me, is playing uh, like some kind of FIFA game on his PC, and he keeps yelling all the time. So I'm sitting here hoping he'll yell again just so I can get it on camera. But of course, now that the camera is on, of course he's not gonna yell this time. It's been driving me crazy for the past. Did you hear that? I'm hoping you can hear it. Do it again. I kind of want to yell back at him, but I mean, I don't want to get like into his neighbor feud. Maybe he's not a nice guy. <laughs> anyway, hope you heard that. I'm gonna go eat some carrot cake that I just made. Have you ever seen a more gorgeous looking tomato? It's from my grandparents' garden, and I got this one just for me, and I just want to bite right into it which I'm not going to do but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna eat it sliced up with a drizzle of olive oil or something like something super simple because it's just so beautiful and it smells like my childhood it smells like the greenhouse my grandfather's greenhouse oh my god
C'est dans la playlist chicheux. Ouais, J'avais été une soirée à un moment et c'était que, que de la musique comme ça, donc je me suis dit, bon, voilà, je Au pas. début, Madeleine était là, genre, ah, c'est un peu bizarre, là. C'est l'intro. Non, après, invité à une soirée, j'en prends un ventre et c'était que ça, tu vois, j'étais là à... Non. On va rester 6 heures ça. ici. Allez. C'est pas si rapide. Allez, viens avec moi. Ah, c'est fun. <rire> I'm hiding in my hallway because there's a friggin huge dragonfly in the living room and I'm, I'm afraid of bugs, okay? And this is massive. And my cat is just like, what's happening? But this thing is like bumping on the walls and like, oh, okay, land it somewhere. I guess I can show you. Oh my God, I know it's silly, but I'm really afraid of bugs. I don't even know if I can be able to zoom in enough to find it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. There's an, a, a fly that landed on my... Okay, there it is, right there. I mean, I love dragonflies, but from a distance. It's like the same with friggin' butterflies. I like butterflies, but from a distance. Oh my god. Oh, camera battery is about to die. No, I don't know what to do. I need to get to my computer and finish my work. But it's like... <laughs> What do I do, Betsy? What do I do? I don't even have my phone. I had my camera like on the table right there. Oh, what do I do? I cannot even, it's like, I can't even consider going there. It's like, if I think of going there, like, my skin starts crawling and there's like, oh. I'm literally scared. I'm genuinely scared to go in there. I'm stuck in my hallway. I like just went to the bathroom while I was rendering a video. And when I came back, I was like, okay, something just flew over my head. And when it hit the, the ceiling, it went like, bam. <sighs> what do I do? I've literally been standing here for the past five minutes. I don't know what to do. I know it's stupid, but this is practically, I think it's a phobia because I, my phone is right next to my PC and I want to grab my phone and like call my mom or something, but I can't get any closer to it than this. There it is. Ugh, I don't know what to do. <sighs> Battery's about to die. This is so dramatic. I hit it again. And I, I didn't I can't see it anymore. By the time I ran behind the door and peeked out, maybe it's gone. Shit. <laughs> what if it's hiding? Somewhere. <laughs> if it flies out at me, I'm gonna drop this camera. I'm not good at this. I'm so sweaty, it's horrible. <sighs> Betsy, where is it? <laughs> I mean, he's not staring in its direction anymore. My cat is not staring in that direction, so I hope it's gone. I hope I didn't kill it. I only, I only threw pieces of clothing at it. Shit, what was that? I think that was out the window. I can't see it anymore. The camera might cut off and that would make it even more dramatic. Oh my god. I don't think it's in the kitchen. That's good. My cat's like, what the f*** are you doing? Okay, I cannot see it anymore. Could be hiding somewhere. But... I mean, if it's, if I can't see it, 
I can work. I'll be paranoid every time I hear a flutter of wings though. Okay, you can't see me anymore, sorry. Okay, I'm getting close to where it was a minute ago. Before. It doesn't look like it's here. I think the coast is clear. God, my stomach is upside down. Let's turn the light off here. 